What's up everybody? We are back with another episode of the vlog. This is going to be episode number four and potentially five. I might break the weekend into a two-parter here uh, with Friday being practice, Saturday being race day. But it is Friday morning. It is just about to be 4 a.m. and we're about to hit the road to go to Southern National for practice day. But the weather's not looking the greatest, so we're going to get down there, get signed in, get the trailer parked, and try to do safety inspection if, uh, if weather allows and then maybe turn a few laps on track. So We'll see what we can do, but come with us for the day and let's go try to get some track down. Our season opener is finally here. They're going to headline their season at the Southern National Motorsports Park right outside of the Charlotte area. All of those races. McDonald's is my kind of place. Oh, there's your coffee. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Right. Good secured. About what? 15 minutes from the track? Yeah, I'm going to run in here and make a little stop. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. That's hot. Hmm. Oh. <clears throat> I just realized we broke the tradition of getting Chick-fil-A on our way to the track. So, we'll make sure to get that tomorrow morning because we cannot go a race weekend without some Chick-fil-A. I mean, I need my chicken minis, come on. Uh, it's cost out cost Holy sh they stood out like a sore thumb. And so we're all standing there. Sure. And so the, the waiter or somebody that runs the bar comes over and goes. Here we are. Good morning, Marcy. Good morning, sir. How, How you doing? Great, sir. You? Ready for a good race? Yeah. All right, the rain just kind of picked up here at Southern National. We just got signed in, and it's kind of a kind of a madhouse a little bit trying to get signed in. And yeah, I guess I don't even know. I guess we're driving the car in, but I don't know. Schedule's a little bit wishy-washy so far. It's it's 8:30, and we're driving our personal vehicle in. So we'll see what happens when we get in there. Okay. So this next part is pretty funny. Uh, here we have Alex. He's going to tell a story about the pump jacks and exactly what went down with them and who was at fault. So let me know if you think Alex was at fault or if it was somebody else. So. I was told to be there by 3 o'clock, so I got there by 3 o'clock. I actually got there at 2.30. Four miles. They, they've been here all day. I get there when they're loading the car. Doing the work. Doing I'm all the work. I'm strapping the back of the car down. Right where the jacks go. Right where the right. jacks go. Right, there you go. Right, right where right, the jacks right, go. Right, we're, we're not Our done. responsibility is always I, the front of the car. Yours is always the rear of the, the back, car. the back of the car down. That's usually my responsibility. Right. I step back. Walkie flips the flat forward. Well, hell, he undoes the thing. I put it on there and we lift the gate up. <laughs> it was on Marcy's side. And as they shut the gate, they trip over the old jack man. behind them. <laughs> That's what we're going to be with. Loaded. It was just doing Marcy out. Marcy <laughs> has got forgetful in his old age. I yeah. can't help. I, can't. I, I didn't know it was coming that quick. So, therefore, it's your fault because you're a son. Well, not as bad as Tommy. Like everybody's starting to get a little bit not of bad. forgetfuls. It is my fault relying on you. So at the end of the day, <laughs> hey, I don't know the, if anybody the checklist hey, taken the side of the trailer. I don't know if anybody knows this, but I don't own any of this shit. So therefore, <laughs> I'm not responsible for any of it. At the end of the day, Harbor Freight came in clutch. We got a couple old school Harbor Freight jacks just sitting there. So hopefully, uh, they're not really low profile, but y'all think you'll make it work? Uh, we're gonna have to. I don't think Alex can handle it, so we're gonna have some jacks. Long story short, we didn't have our good, fast, rapid pump, expensive, high end floor jacks. <laughs>
faded car cover. The last time we had one of those was back in the Mini Cup like 10 years ago. All right, so we're putting on, we're putting on 31 contingencies on each side of this thing. Like, it's running into the number. We're gonna have to peel a few of these off. There's a ton of stickers going on in this race car. So, you know, hopefully we win some of the prizes for these contingency sponsors. Um, but yeah, it's it's really taking up a lot of the a lot of the sharp wrap space of this thing. They're just they're huge and they're all individual. It'd be nice if they're on like the same sheet you just laid on there. But there's no good way of putting them in a orderly fashion, if that makes sense. I don't know. Just gonna put them on there, see what happens. Meanwhile. So I don't have my strap on the camera this week because everybody's holding the camera for me. Chelsea, what do you think about that? A little bit risky? Risky? A little dangerous. A little dangerous. Yeah, well, that's just how we live around here. We're just always out here on the edge. Uh, it's not raining anymore, so that's good, but still working on getting them dang contingency stickers on the side of the door, man. That, that thing is just taking them all. There's Kyle. Check out that hat. Look, that hat's pretty sweet, eh? ESRM. Pretty pimp. I don't know where he got it. Maybe breastlegeracing.com slash shop. Yeah, where do you get one of those? Where? How, how do you get one of those? How do you get one? Breastlegsracing.com. Oh. Yeah. We're, we're the redheads that Chelsea. <laughs> but don't worry, Chelsea. I got one for you tomorrow. <laughs> Hang on a second. Look at this guy. He Well, I bet he just ate a donut. You just eat a donut? No. You didn't? Mm -mm. What are those? Mm -mm. Doritos and cookies. Oh, well, it's snacks still. Say that again? Always yeah. snacking, right? You're just like Tanner. He's always eating something. He's snack chap. Back again. It's raining again. Big year ahead of you, Davis. Lord, this series started with us all coming together. We are going to remain. That was next to me. We're getting set to roll through free tech, and we probably won't be able to do any practice today because it's still pretty wet out. The track is got a lot of moisture in it. Sounds like we're at a dirt track, honestly, but we're gonna roll through tech and then if things dry up by seven o'clock tonight, then we'll turn some laps, if not, right early in the morning to try to get this thing dialed in. Well guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today here at Southern National. The rain got us. It's still sprinkling, it's around five o'clock now. Uh, so unfortunately I wasn't able to make any practice laps, uh, but just in case I do make this uh, a Friday vlog, appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you all for the support. We just cracked 150 subs here on the YouTube channel, so we're growing. And I appreciate that, appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, we're going racing tomorrow, practice at like 7 a.m. It's gonna be a long day tomorrow, but hopefully we have a uh, a good time and hopefully bring home in one piece so appreciate you guys make sure you drop a like drop a subscription here on the channel to help us grow and leave a comment down below uh to tell mother nature you're not happy with her thanks guys we'll see you tomorrow